Hello, and welcome back to Battletech. How are you doing? Um, it's been a, it's a, this is a fresh recording sesh, you see. Um, so I, I did have a, a little peek at some of the stuff in the store, and there is some very fascinating things in the store. Um, whether or not we will buy said things, I'm not sure just yet, but, um, you know, I am, I am interested. We have here, for instance, two marauder parts that's a 75 ton mech um which i don't know is that does that compare favorably with our dragons uh, if i you know I, I won't settle for anything less honestly these are uh won't tell me will it uh, oh 60 60 okay so yeah a 75 ton would compare fairly well with their current setup it would cost us two million so you know nothing nothing uh like it's that's a lot um i won't lie but let's have a quick look here it's a it's four energy hard points and three auto cannons we could potentially consider like auto cannons you know this could be our first auto cannon mech um best known mech in existence the marauder marauder makes a worthy opponent on the battlefield it's no slouch at mid-range combat, but experienced mech warriors will hang back at longer ranges to let its PPCs and AC-5 punish targets from afar. Hey, that could be our first PPC uh, unit. Kind of like to look, uh, browse around. Um, by the way, I have bought the DLC now. Um, this has become, like, very much one of my favorite games now. I'm not even kidding. It probably might even crack my top 10, if not top 20. Certainly one of my favorite tactics games. And um, on that note, I actually was kind of excited to share a couple of things. Um, I, since I've been so impressed with this game, both it's like execution on a lot of things like, you know, it's graphics, it's art design, it's uh, music. And of course the actual tactics of the game is very well done. Um, I wanted to look at what the other what other games the developer has worked on and i actually noticed that they are working on that lamplighters league that is coming out later this year so that may actually be a day one perch for me now um i was not ex i wouldn't say i was i wasn't hugely excited for it previously mostly for theming um up until you know this game i have not been the biggest i wouldn't say the biggest fan of uh party-based tactical rpgs they've never hooked me and it's mostly like an xcom thing i kind of bounced off xcom and i've seen that people have compared this game to xcom and said you know it's not as good so i feel like maybe i shouldn't um i, I should take another give give xcom another chance and i might even do a series who knows um but certainly i wouldn't mind looking at some of the other games that um the uh, developers of of battletech have, have worked on um that would include um all the shadow run games the shadow run are um, video games i should s specify um which is kind of cool i i wouldn't mind checking those out i actually have quite a few of them but i haven't had a chance yeah we've got a crab it's only 50 tons we've got a cyclops 90 tons some uh, really cool stuff in here. If I had the money, I might throw down. Um, it's it is a fifty percent price increase, uh, but honestly, sixty uh, six million credits to buy a ninety ton Cyclops seems like a really good deal. I'm not gonna lie, um, and it's not even. It's more closer to five million, really. Um, I like the idea of this, and it's missiles, and I would love to have. A mech that can just have seven long-range missiles like pointed towards the sky that would just oof that would that would be uh make my day honestly but in the meantime we did i did just buy a marauder um i might have been able to afford the cyclops so it's a little bit of a bummer but that's fine we, we you can't you can't have it all um so let's see here. We got our Shadow Hawk. I might swap out the Shadow Hawk. The Shadow Hawk right now is um it's it's actually one of our better mechs. It's not long range. Our short range uh, I guess we're doing two dragons and then um 
the griffin and the centurion the marauder is lasers so we might want to throw it actually already has two ppcs on there um so that's kind of neat well uh in that case why don't i i don't want to i don't want to abandon the, the uh centurion it's it's done done so well by us and it's still relevant like i'm i'm noticing i'm looking at the uh like it's got two tens and a 15 versus a 115 and two fives like somehow i guess i couldn't make the griffin work i guess it does have less ammo it has less ammo um i don't know i don't know i think if i was going to pick one to shelf it would be the griffin even though it is slightly heavier but i think uh you know at the end of the day we are going to want to look at new mechs um i might sell the shadow hawk i don't see it being relevant anymore um it's a really good mech don't get me wrong uh i i like it a lot but we've got two short range dragons and they work well they're really good bruisers uh, i like them a lot um definitely think i'm gonna sell the vindicator like now i don't foresee it being relevant ever again um we could sell the second griffin we had it oh wait that's there is no second griffin that's there's only one griffin definitely gonna sell the other centurion i don't think that uh, we're gonna need a centurion like that wish it was a bit i wish we would get a little bit more money for these i wouldn't won't lie i, I didn't realize the shadow hawk is actually dlc so that's kind of a, a a bizarre one um yeah let's go ahead and sell that shadow hawk and this uh, shadow hawk as well i i they've served me well and honestly i i'm i'm not kidding here when i say selling my mechs even if i know they're not going to be relevant again it hurts it hurts a little bit like uh, they've they've done well by us you know and um i i i appreciate them even if they're not going to be relevant anymore what is this lance command mod what it has a com called shot but less damage that is really interesting okay um so wow this thing well okay let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves this this thing doesn't weigh anything let's throw i'm gonna take off the ac ammo and i'm gonna take off um well let's just see what we can do here that'll let us max the am the uh the armor which is good uh we'll keep the medium lasers on kind of um hmm. oh yeah so someone asked me what was saying that the auto cannons are good for stability damage um versus the lrms it looks like it's about the same i would say because the thing is so we're doing two that's an lrm5 so we'd be doing two stability damage times five so we're going to be doing 10 stability damage uh then we'd do, be doing 20 so it seems to be about twice as much stability damage uh as as we're firing so an lrm 15 would be 30. um so yeah i think it's comparable i mean i think the acs are better but you have to remember that they also weigh more like the ac5 which i think is comparable to say an ac uh, an lrm5 or an lrm10 the lrm10 is five tons the ac5 is eight tons and then you have to have ammo um so yeah they do do more stability damage but i don't i don't know see here's the thing so th there was a there was a i was talking to someone in the comments and um the idea uh is you know um if you kill a pilot then you get to scrap the whole mech you get to salvage the whole mech so it's really nice to kill the pilot so they were saying well um if you use auto cannons then you can knock over the mech a few times and then hurt the pilot that way my contention or my um i philosophy on this i guess is that i would rather have uh, lrm 10s for dam uh, hurting the pilot because one of the reasons i've gone so hard on tactician is because their called shots become 
so much better. Let's just confirm this for now. It's not going to take any days to do that. So like if I go to my mech warriors, whoops, I don't know, that was not what I wanted. Called shot mastery, right? Three indirect, uh, negative three indirect fire penalty. So we get a benefit for called shots. So if I was in an LRM or sorry, in a, in a long range mech or basically anything that has a lot of shots, right? Like honestly, a, a, a mech with a, uh, a couple of machine guns would be a really solid choice. Like if we had a scout running around with machine guns, might not be a bad idea if we want to actually salvage a mech because if they have high tactician, then they're going to have a high chance of hitting the head uh, and therefore the cockpit and therefore the pilot um, whenever they fire. So it's like a chance every single time they fire. Um, so tactician's great and it, and it also builds onto, um, you know, like how many shots you're firing. That is my understanding. If I'm wrong about that, please, you know, correct me. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to, to be wrong about that, of course. Uh, and I'm still learning things, you know. So my my idea is like, if I want to try and fully salvage uh, a mech, it would be better to um, rather than doing the auto cannons, which tend to be one shot, one kill kind of guns, um, put something in like SRMs that fire a lot of shots, and then um, put someone who knows how to aim them, and then they uh, will have a higher chance of damaging and killing the pilot. That being said, I mean, like, it also means that we might be hitting the other parts because hitting the cockpit is really difficult. So I understand that that's not a foolproof plan. It's just a plan. Um, so with that being said, let's go back to our Marauder here. And I think I kind of want to just throw... Um, didn't we have a PPC++? Yeah, we did. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. May as well upgrade it with something like really good like that. Kind of want to put our machine gun in there. Um, and then we'll put some... Cause I don't expect it to be a bruiser. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? What about an AC... Uh, AC5 is what it had. And it was 8 tons, so it's going to be quite overweight if I do that. Even an AC2 is going to put it far overweight. Um, I honestly wish I could just put in a beefier laser and you know what we can let's take the medium laser off and put the large laser on and then max armor and look at that that's pr that's looking pretty good I like this um, we could go harder for sure I mean I could take some heat sinks off that would be ridiculous why in the world would I take heat sinks off that would be dumb I'm not gonna do that um, the best I could do, I mean, it could take off a medium laser and then just max out its armor. And I, I wouldn't mind doing that because this thing is going to be meant for long range. I don't know if the medium laser is going to have a chance to fire too many times. This thing is max 270 versus the PPC, which is optimal to 360. It's just not going to work too much. I'd rather have the armor. Why didn't that max out? Oh, it's because it... Wow, that's a lot of armor. It, I, I I feel good about this choice now. Um, one thing I wouldn't mind doing, actually... Do you want to exit? Oh, I guess I do want to discard the changes. Um, is, is there a spare cockpit mod? I guess not. So I actually shouldn't have done that. Right, this is a long range um, mech. So th that is like completely pointless. All right, sorry, one more time. Put that laser on there. Max the armor. Um, looking good, confirm, wait a minute, PPC. Put the PPC in there, take that off, confirm. We could, uh, one other option is we could put three PPCs on here. That, we do take quite the armor hit, but it, it's really tempting. Actually, it's not too bad. Three PPCs? We'd be generating a ridiculous amount of heat, but could you imagine? Uh, how much is the PPC compared to the large laser? Oh, it's like double. Yeah, let's not do that. That's just a little bit too, uh, too much. I can try it. We'll see how our heat does on the Marauder. Um, 
I'm not going to do any ship upgrades. We're going to go ahead and um, earn some more credits first because I wouldn't mind trying to get some, uh, both some reputation with the pirates and also work towards a Cyclops. Now that I know a Cyclops is like within our reach. Um, what is happening here? Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is the problem, right? Is I can't really seem to get any reputation with the with the pirates it might be that i've just like ruined that forever um we could definitely do some you know some stuff this is actually a really nice mission for being only one and a half skulls um kind of wouldn't mind doing stuff i mean i do want to do stuff for the capellans kind of wouldn't mind trying this two and a half stars even though it's not much more pay just to just as a test bed and um still like this split oh we would be losing quite a lot of taurian why do you guys have to be enemies with the taurians we would lose taurians here as well what about the um was this the federated sons why i thought it was in taurian I thought it was in Torian uh, space. Why is it all my missions are not Torian at all? Well, let's look at the star map. We are here. Yeah, active factions, Torian concordant. And this is Torian space. I do kind of wish we had um, a bit more options in terms of the missions. Biome difficulty. Oh yeah, that's that's a nice thing. Let's uh We could like move climate rocky. How about biome filter tundra? That's not bad. We could just move. I can always come back here maybe. I don't know if the cyclops will still be available. I really wish that what do you mean travel not? Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, do I have to... Is the idea that I have to, like, move around the map to find... Um... Find the missions that I want? Let's do two and a half stars. Um, let's go here. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. But it's just the Torians and the, uh... Federated Sons. I guess I don't mind making enemies with the Federated Sons. I don't really know what their deal is about. Of course, we have to wait a little bit anyway. I I might do some sh a ship upgrade um, since we're waiting anyway. Oh, we've got, got an event in the command center. The comm system squawks command. Anybody? It's Medusa with a ner nervy edge in his voice. There's a big fire in the barracks. Everybody's out, but not our staff. Is there anything else I can do? Dr. Murad's, um, Dr. Murad calls out a reply. How did her voice is sharp with alarm? Moments later, she continues. Commander, I've turned off power and ventilation, but the fire won't go out while there's oxygen to burn. Shit. I'm going to have to remotely vent the pod. Commander Decker. Uh, Commander Decker just found some dusty fire extinguishers behind the panel. What happens if I vent the pod? Who's in there? Not our staff. Um, send in Medusa and Decker. I mean, I don't like this, but... Okay, uh, well, they're not dead. We lost a lot of shit, and it sucks, but they're not dead. Right away, Commander, we'll save what we can. At the next... Morning briefing, Dr. Murad gives an update. The mech warriors were able to extinguish the fire, but they inhaled too much smoke and ended up in the med bay for treatment. Now this fire was caused by a fault in the power system itself, which not incidentally also disabled the Argo's automated fire suppression systems. I strongly advise upgrading the ship's power conduits as soon as possible. Okay, I, I guess this is a um, consequence of not upgrading the power systems. So I, I will do that. It's not that expensive. 
we lost two morale that really sucks that's that's like a really hefty price at this point um those well we have more mercenaries now uh, i i you know bought some more in the last episode and we do need to trade them so it might be a good opportunity to put them in some mechs uh i am probably going to put my um at least someone with high tactician in the marauder because it's gonna be good for called shots I did notice by the way over time as we've been doing little things here and there to the Argo that it has actually upgraded the look of it it's been looking a bit more polished and less uh haggard visit the store is there anything here oh and they have a cyclops part for three million that's really interesting that a cyclops part in the main store costs more than a cyclops part in the black market at a 50 percent price hike isn't that interesting what is a coil m contained overflow inertia linkage coil system of beam weaponry tra translates power from motion into we're buying this Coil S. I don't know what these do. Tracked as evasive charges. The farther unit moves in a turn, tracked as evasive charges, the more damage it can dish out with its coiled attack and the more heat it generates. Coil weapons will explode if destroyed, devastating the installed location. The Coil S generates the lowest yield attack output of these weapon types. I kind of want to buy this as well. This seems really cool, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm gonna save save my money. All right, let's let's see. Please uh, have some actual contracts that I can justify taking. Oh, this mercenary board seems to take a long time to load. Is this like genuinely connecting to the web? Or is the game just struggling right now? Well, we have a lot of missions here. Uh, I'm assuming all of them are going to piss off the Torians. Yep. Um, I guess when you're in the space in question, you, um, you are, all the missions you're going to get are against that nation. That doesn't make sense to me, but I guess it should make sense to me now that I think about it. So how about instead we go to a location whose reputation we don't care about? We could go literally to the one that is fighting um, the Arano. That's fine. Um, we could go to the Federated Sons and uh, see if we can do some stuff there sorry i'm being a little bit i know we're almost half an hour in this and i still haven't done anything sorry about that but um okay so what what are we looking what difficulty are we looking at okay no filter what's it oh it's three and a half sun, uh, stars uh I wish I could just like see like is there a way to just like show me the difficulty what is that little is that like a abandoned <laughs> desolate plains it looks like uh this zone over here is oh okay there's one zone we could go to and um travel restricted Oh, can we not go anywhere in there? I guess not. Weird. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I, I guess I have to make a choice here. I, I guess I'm going to be enemies to the Torians. I don't have any reason to care, really. Um, but it's kind of a bummer. Uh, this is a two star for a million credits. So I kind of want to do that. Yeah, 900,000. 
we'll gain some uh love with the the uh federated sons i don't know what their deal is with luck we will both profit from this arrangement okay this is a battle okay i can do a battle for sure um so we got our two dragons and i am i know it's weird but i think the centurion is still more relevant than the, our griffin so there's the marauder um we want someone i think i want i do want to train someone new it sucks putting I, I feel like maybe we put behemoth in the marauder and then we put like mandrake in the dragon i can't believe medusa isn't gonna get training like sooner than the new recruits because they're out of action right now this seems like a good setup i'm happy with this looking forward to seeing the marauder in action i'm still trying to like uh you know i haven't done much um playing around with the sandbox of BattleTech. it is there um i think it's a okay vehicle for setting up missions um and i know that uh, i do need to pick someone to be friends with i don't mind the federated sons tell you why i want to do the federated sons is i actually kind of just like their branding i i have to imagine they have some interesting mechs once you uh become friends with them um i don't know who owns the cyclops i don't know if that's like a specialized tank if it is at all um but yeah well I, I, like i could do some research but i actually think it would be more fun to just like triple down on a faction and then see what happens um i do still want to buy that cyclops so i actually probably should do missions for money for a little while and then see if i can't buy that cyclops and then at that point we could just do a few campaign missions because i have to imagine having a 75 ton mech with like what was it six lrms is is going to be really good um all right i'll do a pause here for the loading screen all right Command interface initiated. we're in the engagement area commander the clock is ticking so let's move out target is in this area once they're down and clean up any reinforcements or head to the lz i'll be on station to make the pickup commander so don't hesitate to call if you're in over your head no oh, i think we should we should be okay we'll see oh we've got water too that'll make it nice for the uh energy based long range mech uh -huh. we've got a lot of chunk chunky mechs now so <clears throat> they're they're a bit slower to move around so what do we got a 25 and a 50. um let's kind of lean left a little bit and uh i guess there's no reason why we could have approached that plateau so that they can't hit us oh well it's a practice mission just just say it's a practice mission and then uh you know so okay this is our lrm 15 um we only have a 45 percent chance to hit it but that's good enough to try and it's only a little commando this is not this should not be a difficult mission Ooh, another commando um so this is our short uh short range we can hit that but just barely sure why not yeah we missed with almost everything <laughs> but we uh we cut its evasion and that's always the plan right so now i want to see what these uh like now that i have cut its evasion down let's see what we can do with the ppcs and i even want to do a called shot see if we can like hit it in the head see we have a 33 percent chance of hitting it in the head nice Oh, we knocked it over. Cool. I thought it was dead, though. I won't lie. 
We got a hunchback. Dragon should be able to take out a hunchback. Waiting for order. Wow, we are really slow in this thing. That's fine. We can we can roll up and and start pounding. Pounding on the door. Up 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 up. Oh wow, we hit the uh we blew up the ammo. Seeing an incoming bogey, I'll mark its target destination for you. Thanks. So I think, um, I mean, I, I still think I prefer the LRMs, um, for long range, but you know, the PPC is good. Like it's a good safety thing. Right. Um, but like, I, I think uh, if, if there's a good mech on the field, what I want to do is conserve the Centurion for specifically that so that we can aim for the head and try and like injure the pilot as much as possible. <clears throat> We're not going to be taking a commando part. We got another hunchback. Are these both? Um, okay, so that was an AC-20 hunchback and we actually already took out the AC-20. Very good for us. But that that other one is also an AC-20. So we're going to want to hit it with the PPC Affirmative. to try and damage its sensors. Firing pop, hold. pop. We did hit it once. Sensors impaired. Very good. This thing's still got medium lasers. That's fine. That's totally fine. We're just gonna come up and... Pop, 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 smack, crunch. There you go. <clears throat> crunch, crunch. There we go. We, we critted the AC again. That incoming bogey looks like the reinforcements that weren't supposed to show up. So what do we got? It, it's going to show us for a moment. I don't think I see anything too bad. You can engage them and there's a hefty bonus if you wipe them out, but be careful of being overwhelmed. Ah, we should be fine. We're almost already done with the stuff out here. Wow, it hit us with everything. Little commando Wait, doing its you, part. Commander? I'm doing my part. Let's um, do a precision strike. Oh, 95% chance. Okay, we only have an 18% chance of hitting the head. I don't know if I want a hunchback. Let's just hit the torso. Actually, where's the ammo? In the shoulder. Unsteady. Commander. Got a 90% chance with PPCs. Oh, we just stepped out of the water. That was maybe a bit dumb. Yeah, this thing generates quite a lot of heat. So I wouldn't I wouldn't feel good about putting a third PPC on there. There we go. I'm definitely going to want to step her back into the water. Uh, I actually think it wouldn't be a bad idea to step back around. Can we do a jump on it? Uh, if we could do a jump on the on the plateau, that would be really nice. Okay, we can't really do anything by going back around, so we're just going to do a sprint. Gives us some extra evasion. I can have the other dragon take out that commando, but it really seems like overkill. Up, Copy that. It's got a lot of evasion built up, so um, could do a precision strike, I suppose. I copy. It's fine. Okay, hunchback is gonna yep it hit us with those uh, those cannons. Another bogey? What do you mean? What do you mean? That's that seems like uh, kind of unreasonable. Got it. Okay, let's just stay where we are and um, hopefully this takes out the hunchback. We knocked it down. We didn't take it out. That's always a bummer, you know? Oh, 
Oh, God. Okay, so there's another auto cannon. Very probably another hunchback. Commander. Okay, um. Really sucks that we can't. Okay, if we go here, we can we can hit it. And we are still technically in the water. And I'm actually going to take off both PPCs and just hit it with the large laser. Should be enough to kill it. Oh, just barely no, actually. Okay, we'll do this. This seems fine. Target acquired. There we go. Oh my god. That commando's really going for it. Um All right, we're going to move back over and try and kill it with the uh the first dragon. Not killed. I guess I'm really taking for granted that we should be killing these commandos because like I, I'm not doing precision stri strikes for them at all um, I think I should move back around this uh, pillar I'm Just gonna go ahead and crunch this thing Miss Um. Yeah, this kind of sucks. I don't know why this this is not supposed to be a stupidly difficult mission, but we've got a ridiculous number of mechs right now. What can I do for you? What is this? Marsh. 50% stability damage. Let's just move back. Uh, I really wish... Actually, you know what? Let's reserve glitch. There's a lot of mechs that are going to get to take their turn. God damn it. Stop hitting the Marauder. They're hitting it every single time. <laughs> I know it's the only one visible. I understand this. It's just annoying. Waiting for orders. Moving out. Okay, so we've got a couple of light mechs over here. Nothing too bad. I'm again just going to use uh, the PPC and the laser so we don't generate too much heat. Wow, look at both the arms are exposed on the Marauder. That's going to be really expensive if I, I lose an arm. Taking the shot. This is not going well. Oh, there's still this commando. Jesus, can you just die, please? Thank you. Yeah, we can... We might actually want to evac. We're not fast, so it's, it's going to suck. I generally don't like to do that. I'm actually going to do... I'll do a split shot between these two locusts. Okay, this seems good. Got it. We blew something off. Oh, they're both both alive. All right, we've got a griffin and a crab. Crab. Yes, Could get a crab part, maybe. Uh, we have a better chance of hitting the crab. So I wouldn't mind hitting the crab. This dragon is going to start absolutely eating it. Let's do a precision shot on the crab. Only a 2% chance to hit the head. Um, where are all of its guns? Left laser or large laser on its right arm. Heat sink, heat sink large laser it's it's divided up really well like the the crab is actually really good like it gets to have a lot of really decent weaponry and also is just like 
I don't know, kind of a beast. Like it has really decent armor. Copy that. I don't like these locusts. These locusts are gonna like eek away our, our health over time. Don't need to tell me twice. I wanna I wanna take out that crab. That pretty much hit it like every, every every shot hit it and I didn't I don't even know if I exposed it Um Okay, can we kill the locust? Kind of want to just like Oh, it's evasion is really good right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep hitting the crab. I've got some good shots right now. I broke off an arm. That's a little bit of firepower on the field reduced. These guys are gonna make their way. If we can like kill all these guys before these guys make it over, that would be uh, a big help. I think I could possibly take out the crab right now. Turn on everything. Uh, well, no. I'm not sure why I thought I could take it out. I hit it with everything there. Okay, we're getting torched by a Vulcan. This is a bad mission to be training someone on. Really just want to take out the crab. Let's do it. There we go. That was good. Decent. Uh, we should, I guess I should be backing up at this point while we do this. What is that? Okay, so that's our Vulcan. On my way. I still want to take out those two locusts. So same plan as before. Oh, uh, they, they have... They still have that stupid evasion built up. Eh. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. Okay, that's one dead. That's good. Not quite. So we've got right now, um, okay, there's another scout on the right side. We've got a Vulcan, we've got a Griffin, we've got a 30 ton, 20 ton, um, 40, 30. I think we can, I think we're okay. It's going to be rough, but it's not, you know, it's not completely un, you know, not, it's not not doable. You know, it's, it's totally doable. Let's um let's try and take out this Vulcan with a nice shot. Um What's her only oh eighteen percent chance of hitting the head? It's got uh an AC I thought that was an AC twenty for a second there. Um if we hit it with everything we might be able to take out the torso like now. Yeah solid uh, that was a really good little win. We got another Vulcan. I'm amazed if Flamer has that kind of range. Good to go. I'm also amazed I can't hit that Vulcan. That's fine. We're going to hit this Griffin instead. Because this Griffin is completely untouched. Let's try and hit that head. Affirmative. Ooh, nice. Head hit, pilot injured. That's what you like to see. Receiving you. Um, let's... Okay, we need to... We need to do, like, a little jump. Just a little jump. None, none of these spots work for me. 
Okay, I mean, this is okay. Just put our back up against the wall and, and shoot the griffin. That wasn't bad. 60% damage reduction. Wow. I hear ya. Okay, so um, with the centurion, we might be able to take out the griffin if we can get some lucky shots on the head. 18% chance, but remember, we're hitting it with... 120 rockets right now is that right no more actually um 140 rockets i think so we might actually you know be able to kill it right now i guess i did not hit its head bummer maybe i'm wrong about how that works Well, I mean, the Marauder is good about called shots. Uh, I wish I had maybe conserved it for the Griffin. Okay, we're overheating. Let's take off the large laser for now. We got our other Vulcan is coming over. Nice thing about the getting hit with flamers is they don't really do a lot of damage. They just um, make you heat up. Which is bad, but we're also in the water, so it's fine. Okay, I can't hit that griffin from here. It's not great. So I'm gonna... Well, that locust still has really good evasion. Would like to hit that Vulcan. Not bad. Okay. Commander. Let's do another jump and we can hit the Vulcan. Oh, yeah. uh, the reason I do jump like that, I've mentioned this before, but I, you know, you, you might not have watched the rest of the series. Who knows? Um, but the reason I do small jumps like that is so that I can um, keep my direction forward. You can do a walk back, but it's a little bit unwieldy. So I prefer to just do a jump, especially if I don't have to worry about heat. Waiting for order. Okay, so we've got pretty much everything now. I read you, Commander. Moving we could do a split shot again, try and take out the locust. Oh, the urban mech is actually quite a good little mech. Um, let's do a split shot. I'm actually going to split it three ways. Maybe not recommended but i'm gonna do it we might be able to take out yeah okay so the locust is dead that tells me that that was a good move urban mech is gonna take some fire just to get rid of that evasion this is a nice thing of nice way of cutting down the evasion on basically the entire enemy team another hit like that and you're toast. we have more mechs 30 tons that's fine Um, we could probably just take out that Vulcan. Let's go with this arrangement because that way we aren't generating any heat. Nice. I'm amazed. Oh, did it actually fall over? Nice. Griffin's got some stuff. Why isn't the Griffin doing anything? Is it because I keep hitting the sensors i wonder let's just get that vulcan out of the picture i know that didn't make sense there the shots went through the ground but i don't care it's fine okay with the dragon i'm gonna walk up and torch this urban mech Urban mech's got really good armor for being a, a fairly small little little mech. And apparently it's got an AC-10, that looked like. It was an AC-10. Let's just take it out. 
Uh, no, you know what? I, I'm gonna split my shot because I'm pretty sure I can take it out pretty easily with one LRM10. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, the urban mech can just take it. Wow, the Griffin's got so much damage reduction. I'm not even just like very good positioning. It's just in a really good spot right now. Let's uh, try and do a precision shot on the head. Confirmed. That worked out last time. Yeah, head destroyed. Pilot lethal damage. We did it. Destroyed an enemy mech's head with a called shot. That was an achievement right there. So the Marauder is going to be really good for those called shots. I'm wondering if we can give it something better for doing stuff like that. Okay, the uh, urban mech is is finally dead. This one uh, went a lot better than I thought it was going to. I won't lie. We didn't lose anything, I don't think. Um, but let's not speak too soon. This, uh, this this dragon could eat it. Who knows? Um, where is the ammo? Uh, right torso. Nice. Waiting for orders. I love that we can just like whip rockets all the way over this mountain. That was the last of our rockets, though. Well, we may as well, uh, I don't want to get out of the water. I don't want to get out of the pool yet. It's still, it's still sunny out. You know? Um, let's just try and take it out with the PPCs. Pop. Pop. Yes! Okay, I am enjoying two PPCs. That, I mean, it worked out. Maybe we got very lucky, but it worked out quite well. Sit tight and can collect you from where you are right now. So we're, I, I expect a pretty good payday from that. Forty percent contract payment increase. Wow, nice. That is a nice bonus. We did take a little bit of damage, but nothing. We, no one, no one took health damage. That that's the best part. Um, we can take a crab part. That's nice. Uh, I, if I see the other hunchback, it's the only thing I would consider putting on our team, even though it's a, a like, lower weight. Um, the crab, I don't know. Do we want the crab? Kind of feel like maybe we should take the griffin part so we can get more money. I like the crab a lot. Yeah, but it's, it just doesn't make sense. We didn't get it. God damn it. <laughs> they keep giving us locust parts. They're going to give us locust parts until the end of time. <laughs> Each shot of an auto cannon after the first suffers a recoil penalty that lowers its chance to hit. Okay, well, that's interesting. Uh, that actually does make a difference in terms of uh, using auto cannons to try and kill pilots. Unearth secrets. Okay, everybody, our shiny new codebreaker just finished chewing through the encryption on the Argos data archive. Shall I go ahead and open it? That's what we're all here for. Then, without further ado, huh. Well, it looks like a map archive, which is about what you'd expect on a navigation computer. No surprises there. I'm seeing a lot of periphery territories the Outworlds, Alliance, the Rimworlds, uh, Republic, the Oberon Confederation, but hello, what's this? A star map on a blue background fills your view screen. The margins are dense with annotations and symbols. This isn't a civilian map, it's SLDF. Look at the symbols, refueling stations, no-fly zones, even military installations, all laid out and annotated, complete with identifier codes where, applic uh, where applicable. And it looks like we have more of them. Why would an ancient civilian vessel be carrying military maps? 
beats me. Just another mystery in a ship overflowing with them. Mystery that could get us all killed. I shouldn't have to tell you that the great houses would... What, what the great houses would do to get their hands on something like this. And even if they don't, bad things happen to people who mess around with lost tech. I've heard stories. Hang on a second. I've got something. An SLDF outpost castle. The designation reads Nautilus. It's on Artru. Deep inside Directorate space, right on the edge of the Taurian border. On the map, it's a no-fly zone, marked strictly off limits, limits to civilian craft. Nothing like that has ever been discovered on Artru. Trust me, I grew up there. I'd known. This could be a huge find. The SLDF built outpost castles to keep periphery worlds in line, and they stocked them accordingly. That means lost tech, and lots of it. There could even be an intact memory core for us to discover. Who cares about memory cores? If there's really an outpost castle out there on Artru, that means battle mechs. The rarest, most expensive battle uh, mechs you could ever imagine. Oh, and weapons, boss. Weapons the likes of which you have never seen. You ever heard of a gauze rifle? From what I've read, those babies could punch a hole clean through an assault mech without breaking a sweat. And pulse lasers, the kind that could slag a mountain of armor in the blink of an eye. If what you've said is true, if an intact Star League era memory or armory is awaiting for us on Artru, then this could change everything. We could punch through the Directorate's defenses in spite of their unexpected strength. With an SLDF arsenal at our disposal, there would be nothing we couldn't do. We must pursue this, Commander. Lady Arena will say the same. My ancestors traveled to the deep periphery in search of the unknown. I won't refuse to take a chance they have, they'd have leapt at. Sure. Lord Madeira, Commander, please. Chasing Lost Tech is a bad idea. Capital B. Capital I. If our friends and neighbors don't kill us to take it, someone will push the wrong button and blow us all up. Again, I have stories. Let me be abundantly clear. If there is a Star League era castle waiting on our true, we will claim what's inside, not out of avarice, but out of necessity. Advancing on the Directorate's core systems with our ad existing army would be like marching headlong into an arbiter. Uh, a Bator? We could succeed, yes, but our losses would be devastatingly high, as would yours. So we will follow this lead. Superstitions be damned. Let's do it. I've always wanted to go on a treasure hunt. Very good. I'll contact Lady Arena. She'll need to, time to prepare the recovery effort. Carry on with your business, Commander. Take contracts, fly, fight, and grow stronger. Soon enough, we will all venture into the unknown. Sounds like fun, but that's going to do it for this episode. Um, we are probably going to gain Decker and Medusa back um, for the next mission. We are going to do a couple more missions. Like I said, I still would like to try and get the, that uh, Cyclops, and we are within spitting distance of that, maybe? If it's still there, that is. There's always the p possibility that it's not. But let's have a quick look at what our next contract could look like. We could do a uh, six, 1.6 million credit. Um, I mean, the last one was only two, and it uh, was, or was it two and a half? I guess it was two and a half. Might have been two and a half. Wow, three difficulty and only 400,000. It seems like they cover a wide range. Um, I wouldn't mind checking out Clash of Titans. We can't have an assault class Torian mech that big wandering around. Oh, this is for a big stompy mech. We could do something like this and actually we could try and take parts. I actually kind of wouldn't mind 3 of 13 if on the very, very slim chance we managed to completely grab the whole mech. I wouldn't mind building something huge like that. But anyway, that'll, that'll be uh, for the next episode. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.